going on guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it if you're a returning subscriber as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support guys yesterday uh this story right here uh broke out of chicago and shout out chicago by the way and it's about a 34 year old woman and uh, uh her 11 year old son they say he's 10 in this video but come to find out he's 11 years old after reports, you know, further investigation has revealed. 11 year old boy lost his life. The mother is still in the hospital. She's pregnant by the way, eight months. And, you know, she's trying to recover. This situation yesterday out there in Chicago, they said it was a shooting. I'm going to play you this initial video of when it first came out. And uh, since then, a lot more details that came out that are surprising. And it's just another domestic incident that currently plagues this country. Take a look at this and we'll come back and clear some of the stuff up. But I want to show you this first video first. We begin with that breaking news. An 11 year old boy is dead. His pregnant mother in critical condition after a shooting in Edgewater. This is a live look at the scene on Ravenswood and Thorndale. It's where Chicago police are expected to give an update on the investigation any moment. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman is also there. And Marissa, you spoke with neighbors after this incident. What did they tell you? Yeah, Marie, good morning to you. They tell us they heard loud screaming before the shooting incident happened. We have learned that this appears to be a domestic related incident. Again, the victim's mother and child. And we're now learning, according to police sources, that child just 10 years old shot and killed. The mother is in critical condition and is eight months pregnant. Now, we also recently spoke with this woman's fiance. He's the father of that unborn child tells us he's clearly devastated and he believes he knows who the suspected shooter is. Again, we are in the Edgewater neighborhood just off of Ravenswood Avenue near Thorndale. The 40th world alderman who lives just blocks away says shots were heard from neighbors here before eight this morning. Once police arrived on scene, they saw both the woman and that 10 year old boy both shot. Again, the child was rushed to Ascension St. Francis Hospital where he died. His mother, who was 34 years old, was shot in the neck and again in critical condition. Neighbors said they heard that screaming, screaming but were too scared to come out of their homes and intervene. I heard the screaming. I heard someone screaming for help. And then I just heard sirens. So I was like, hey, the police or the ambulance have got it, taken care of it, and that's about it. And to walk out and it's a homicide, it's very sad. Now, police do say they know the identity of the suspected shooter, but again, nobody is in custody, calling this an isolated incident. Again, moments away from a press conference from Chicago police. We'll bring you the latest details on this investigation as soon as we hear from them. That's the sick news of what happened to this little boy and his mother. Now, the reason why I showed that first because new information came out and I'm going to show you this new video and it's going to blow your mind. A lot of times when these stories first break, a lot of the stuff that these media people get, they get from eyewitnesses and they don't have the accurate stuff. This is a perfect example. That's why I showed this video first. They weren't shot. They were stabbed. And, uh, the woman is not 35, the little boy is not 10, the little boy is 11 years old, and the woman is 33 years old. Now, she's presently in critical condition, whereas the little boy has passed on, may rest in peace. There's a small snippet of uh, what happened right here, detailing, uh, you know, what's going on with him, and it reads as follows. It says that the little boy has been stabbed, was stabbed in the chest. And, you know, the mother was stabbed in the neck. Woman had multiple stab wounds. And it says the little boy had an injury to the chest. Yeah, that's basically, yeah, chest. I thought it said arm too. But it said police label this a domestic related incident. Now, now we all know this is a domestic related incident. I'm going to show you something. Look at this of what they've uncovered after they did that first said interview. This is sickening and it's crazy. Look. 
An 11 year old is dead. His pregnant mother is fighting for her life and breaking right now new details about violence against that woman in the past. CBS 2 has learned the prime suspect just got out of prison. Let's go live to our Sharday Gray. And Sharday, we've also learned how the boy died. Exactly, Joe and Marie. The medical examiner's office say 11 year old Jaden Perkins was stabbed to death. His pregnant mother is still here at St. Francis Hospital. We do know that uh, charges haven't been filed in this case, but the suspect was just released from prison. CBS 2 has learned the man identified as the prime suspect in this deadly stabbing of 11 year old Jaden Perkins has a history of domestic battery. We did some digging and his court records date back to 2004. Court records show he has four orders of protection from four different women. Domestic violence advocate Amanda Pyron says with these orders of protection, he was specifically told he was not allowed to contact his victims from prison. So we know that there must have been some basis for that in previous orders of protection. And given his pattern of behavior and repeating similar behaviors, we're worried that that's what happened. Court documents show the man was sentenced in 2017 to 16 years in prison for 2015 home invasion involving one of the women who had an order of protection, but he was paroled last year in October after eight years. CBS 2's legal analyst Irv Miller says under Illinois law, you only have to do half of what you're sentenced. The other half, you can be released for good behavior. It happens on everybody who's sentenced uh, back when this happened. Frankly, now there's uh, different uh, amounts of time. You could have to do 100% on murder, 85% uh, on other crimes. But on most crimes, you do 50% of what the judge says you're supposed to do. CBS is not naming the suspect in this case because he has not been charged yet. But we do know that he is in custody and the mother is recovering at the hospital. Reporting live at St. Francis Hospital, Charday Gray, CBS 2 News. Charday, thanks for the update. Let's bring in our Jermont Terry now. He's also working this story in Jermont. You have more breaking details on the investigation. Joe and Marie, this case gets more disturbing as CBS2 digs deeper into records. We are always investigating, and we just got a hold of new records. They show the pregnant mother requested an emergency order of protection against the man who CPD says stabbed her and killed her 11-year-old son. We're learning on the day of the murder and stabbing, this woman and suspect were to appear before a judge. We're talking hours before police police came to that Edgewater apartment complex. Now I'm going to continue to pour through these newly obtained records where the victim expressed her fear of this man who we are not naming because as Charday mentioned he is yet to be charged but this man was somehow able to harm this woman and kill her son. I'm going to check back in with these breaking details coming up at six. For now we're live in the newsroom. I'm Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Marie. Guys that's all of the facts and um Sadly, there are a lot of pieces of crap like this out here running amongst us right now. Now, in the first video I showed you, I don't know if you guys picked it up, said she had a fiance. The fiance they interviewed, he said, I think I know is who's the one that did this. That right there, when I first heard that, I was like, that sounded like ex-boyfriend type vibes or some type of scenario. Come to find out in the past relationship. Now, I don't know if this 11-year-old boy was his or not. Don't even matter. He stabbed this child. I want you to think this dude right here is a coward. I'm going to tell you two reasons why he's a coward. Number one, he stabbed an 11 year old boy, probably trying to defend his mother. The mother was with child. He stabbed her too. That's a lot of hate, anger, angry, animosity. You know what I'm saying? Second reason why I think this guy is a coward is because of this. Went to prison. For something from 2015, was supposed to serve 16 years, got out at eight, used the system for what it, you know, it allows them to do, get out in eight years on good behavior. This dude is a menace to any woman he meet, but in jail, he was as quiet as a kitten to where he could get out because it was men in there. Come back outside, the world, the women, all hell breaks loose. Four Orders of protection against four different women. Arrest record go all the way back to 2004. He got a history of whipping ass. Seriously, it's 2024 now. What? That's serious. 
I don't know if 2004 was his first thing, but man, this guy right here has something against women if you can't control them. Think about that. That's a serious habitual offender. That type of person, how is that person let back in society? Nobody's seen that. And this is one of the things I want you ladies to, to, to think about. Hell, everybody, when are you actually safe from death or destruction? I'm in my home right now and I'm not even safe. A lot of you women out there, meet a guy, break things off, think it's over with. You're not even safe. Hell, guys are like that now, but women, not even safe. This person, and this is the part that cracks me up, they're not naming him because he's not brought up on the crime, but he's in custody. You name the stuff he did, but you won't name his name. Same damn thing. Why, why, why do that? I think, I don't know if it's lawsuits or what, or he might get let out or something. But I mean, supposedly they got him. Just got out of jail. Went right over there and tore up shit. Think about that. So defiant, they're going to tell, they want to prove a point. No matter what you put in front of me, I'll break it down. And if I want to get you, I'll get you. It's a lot of boogeyman ninjas out here. For real, this is some boogeyman stuff. Makes no sense at all. You stabbed that little boy. Both of them laid up in there. He don't survive. She do. How you think she feel right now in that hospital bed? Knowing that she couldn't protect a son. Here she is about to bring forth life and life was snatched away from her and hers almost at the same time. She about to give birth to a child, bring a child in this world while watching her child getting taken out of it. Let that sink in for a second. There are people out here that don't look at other people as people, human beings, what have you. There's no reason something like this should happen from somebody that calls themselves a man. Your dumb ass just got out of jail after doing eight years. I remember when I went to prison, I already knew, hey, I'm one and done with this. I shouldn't be here in the first damn place. And I cussed myself out inside my own head every damn day because I knew better. Four orders of protection from four women. Look at the psychological the psychology it is as a man with common sense. I would be like, damn, something's wrong with me if women don't want to be around me and they got to go to the law to stop them. Maybe I am harassing them or maybe I did do this the wrong way. You going in there them eight years was a chance for you to start over. Now you done did your damage to other people, but to fix yourself moving forward to where you could say, you know what? I am better than this. Regardless of what demons I'm fighting, you were sitting in jail that whole damn time and you didn't even fight those demons you had inside you to better yourself. Chances and choices, ladies and gentlemen, we have chances and choices every day. We have a chance to make a difference, chance to change ourselves. You know what I'm saying? But it all comes down to the choice if we want to do it or not. And this motherfucker don't. Told you a lot of people be should be made to look at the flowers. Get them out of here. This is a prime example of that. This dude is a danger to everybody, including himself. This woman about to get married, move on with her life. Found a guy with child with this man, not worrying about you. Moving forward. And here you come to destroy that. I don't know what the motive was. None of us know right now, but I guarantee you it's something stupid and something that he had a problem with. There was a whole bunch of nothing like a lot of these other stories I do. And all these videos was about lack of common sense and a uh, lack of accountability. Whose fault was this that this lady got killed after eight years in jail? You get out. You still got beef with a woman that don't want you. That you abused before. 
kind of dude can punch a woman in the face and do all this kind of stuff and hurt her and stuff, then sit around and go to sleep and think everything back to normal. You a lover, not a fucking father. It's not up to you to discipline any damn body. And if you feel as though you got to hit somebody, you can go your own way. Because trust me, the way you was treating these women, I doubt if they chase behind you. It's something to think about. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hope this lady does make it, make a uh, full recovery because she's in critical condition right now. And I'm so sorry for the loss of this little boy. And may he rest in peace.